oh, it doesn't pay enough. It's like, mm, how much money do you make your company? The guys that focus on quality and on-time delivery, they'll never be without work. Dude, you have like 50 machines now. How did you do that? And he's like, I just worked hard. You go to IMTS and Emo and you see booth after booth after booth. It's and crazy. it's just... There, where do all these machines go? Yeah. You know, and each one makes hundreds or thousands per month. Right. It's crazy. It is insane. People don't even know. All the machines, the tools, and everything. You have to just know. You just have to have a head to be able to, like, look at the whole mess and then take out what you can and make something brilliant. And I think that's the gift of Titans of CNC is really talking to machinists, you know, uh -huh. going and just saying, hey, Never mind all of it. Just concentrate on this, and we're going to make something, and then just taking it one step at a time. And hundred percent, yeah. But but that's the cool thing I like about machining is if you can get ahead for it, and you understand fixturing, and you understand the different materials and different things, and you can solve problems. You can write your own ticket. If you got grit and tenacity, and you're willing to work hard and put the time in, you can write your own ticket. People people are like. Oh, it doesn't pay enough. How much money do you make your company? Are you a pillar in that company? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you want to make $100,000 and you have a head for it and you're willing to work, you can do it. You can make 200000 You could leave and open your own company. Are you guys enjoying this video? Well, if so, we have a brand new podcast-only channel. So head on over there and check out our epic full episodes. Please like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you don't miss a single one. <laughs> I did a video one time. I said, like, could a machinist ever make $500,000 a year? Of course, that seems like impossible. But if you step onto a floor and they're doing $50 million worth of work and you increase productivity by 20%. Hello. You know what I mean? And you solve the problems and you're smart enough to articulate yourself and like tell the story of what you're gonna do and put the plan in place and sell that vision and that whole plan and you get the opportunity, dude, you, you can make as much money as you can <laughs> Thank for God, sure, for know? sure. And you I know, just gotta and, solve people's problems. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I know it's cliche because I'm sure everyone's heard the story before, but I cannot tell you, honest to God, how many people I have met that worked at a shop, bought a machine, put it in their garage. Mm. And then when I worked at the company I used to work at, I would go to their shop and I'd be like, wow, how'd you start this company? He's like, oh, just a mill in my garage. And it's 100%. like, what? Yep. Yep. Dude, you have like 50 machines now. How did you do that? And he's like, I just worked hard. And it's really, that's, that's all it. that's being asked of you here. That's I mean, it. if you want to, you are going to get exactly what you put into this. Maybe not, you know, 50, 50, maybe not right on the exact margin. But if you put a lot of effort into this, it's not going to hurt you. You're going to grow. You're going to move on to whatever job you want. If you want to travel the country like I did, or if you want to, you know, even travel the world sometimes like I did, you can go do that. You can go learn whatever you want. You're not going to go to a company and be like, hey, I want to get really good at this and make you a ton of money. And they're going to be like, no. And well, if they do, then leave and go find another shop because there's tons of people who are going to hire anyone with that attitude and let them grow and become whatever they want. So it's like, it's not terrible. Think about that too, right? You put a machine in your garage, you work all these hours, you work as hard as we do or you guys do as machinists. I was only a salesman, remember that. <laughs> but <laughs> but, um, but uh, what is the number one thing? Quality. As long as your quality is going out that door and you care about what leaves your shop that's going into your customer's hands, you will never, Bill Selway said this to me early in my career, the, cu the guys that focus on quality and on-time delivery, they'll never be without work. And that is the case. If you do that job, you put in the effort and you focus on quality customer service and on-time delivery. There was guys I knew that did Boeing parts and I think we talked about it, Titan. Did you ever get a reject from, from SpaceX? I got a few from SpaceX. What, what was it? I was did, it I did what, videos. Blue? Was it I did blue? Videos I know one on you them. said there was. Uh, blue Origin, we we worked with them over 12 years and without a single reject. That's what it was. That's and actually it's insane. That's insane. It was a crazy amount of work. And, and I know stuff. the quality that you guys focused on, and it, it was of the utmost highest level. And it's and, it, and it's like Monel, Inconel, right. A286. Not easy crazy, stuff. Crazy, true positioning, right. all of it. Right. But that's why we're still great friends with them today yeah yeah you know yeah I mean? yeah and absolutely i love i love seeing what they're doing right now it's so so good blue awesome. amazing i think it's because you looked at it like art you've said this to me several times and i really like that mindset like it's art you are taking this bad looking piece of stock and you're gonna figure out how to hold it and manipulate it and if and it's 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 like a video game almost like you're you know you're 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 figuring out how to create this beautiful 
piece of Manel or Inconel from raw stock and it's going to go into a jet engine mm. but like it's 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 art you're going to you know figure out the puzzle you're going to figure out the way to do it. It, it it's it's entertaining you're not it is you are not going to be bored doing this no nope. <laughs> like and, it, and it's it is a fun challenge that's why i've always liked doing it don't get me wrong we've all had those moments where we are just beating Abs. our head against the wall absolutely but you know it, it's it's kind of same like on the non-stop. sales side. Same on the sales side. It's <laughs> oh, the sales you know, side's all. <laughs> it, it is rough, but you know the great thing about day to day going and seeing a Barry, a Donnie, a Titan, is I got to see different parts every single day. My job was different every day I got out of bed, and the first shop I walked into wasn't the same as it was the day before, the week before, the year before. It it that is. Again, the, the, I think one of the, the best things about this industry is it is ever-changing.